Shop Cat Martian. She's a good cat when she's not being a jerk. jerk. Are you getting? She's more like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> Doesn't know if she wants to be good or bad. Thanks for being here on my channel. It is Red Rider here with you all. And today my dad and I are in the garage and we are working on a small project for the shovel head just to make it uh, a little more convenient for me so that I can carry stuff without needing a backpack all the time. And um, yeah, I've got this ammo can and we're gonna make some mounts for it so that I can put this ammo can on my shovel head. All right, um, so we've just got our first measurement on this piece of angle iron here that will be used for the bottom bit for the bracket. And it's going to bolt onto this part of the frame here. And we just have these blocks set up here because that's like the height that we're going to have the ammo, the can sitting once it's on here. Okay, so we've got everything all rigged up here in the spot where the, the can is going to end up sitting when it is on the bike. All right, my dad is just making a couple measurements here for me to do some cuts that will be needed so that we can make sure that the bracket is going to fit around this latch. All right, so now i am um, got my metal all marked out here for me to cut. So I'm gonna be cutting out these parts here that are blacked out with the Sharpie. Okay, time to make some cuts here. And listen to some dogs acting. Ridiculous in the backyard. That is kind of how it's all going to look, and I'm just hoping that I did not take too much out of that. Okay, I just got finished grinding the heck out of all this stuff, like, and I'm not so good at this stuff, like, well, I'm learning. So, um, I'll just show you guys how these pieces are looking now that they're cleaned up and ready to be welded. Okay, that's how it's looking so far. This is going to sit like that. And I've got my grooves or my valleys or whatever you want to call it in here. So that will be where they will be welded. That's it so far. And we will, oops. We will see what else we decide to do tonight. Got the welds all cleaned up for this bracket that we're working on and now it's time to make a mount for the bracket. So I just took a couple measurements from down here and you know, I measured out where the center, the distance between the center of each of these holes and then I took a couple other measurements just for height and stuff like that. Now it's all getting all marked out on here so we're gonna have just a little diagram and whatever to work with so that'll be about where the bracket's gonna be once it's bolted on we're making the mount to mount onto these threaded foot peg holes here so we're gonna mount off of that so we're gonna start working on that mount okay everybody new day new dilemma just kidding everything's going well I'm gonna show you guys just how far we've gotten so far with this bracket that we're making and I don't like the way I look in this hat but oh well got the bike up on a lift here just to make everything a little easier now and uh, 
So this is how far we got with it. Yeah, it's a pretty simple piece. When everything's finished, you won't actually be able to see this at all. Yeah, but that's basically, that's how visible the bracket's gonna end up being once the can is on there. So you're just gonna see the can and then the straps will hold it down. But anyway, that's as far as we got yesterday and we're just gonna do some more grinding today. Yay. Okay, so we're just measuring out the different spacing we need for the holes we're gonna have to drill for the bottom mounting bracket. So time to find a nut. We might have something that we need. Does anybody else have piles and piles of random fasteners and still not able to find the one that they need? Well, hopefully I don't have to go buy a nut. <clears throat> there. This actually looks like it might be the right one, but it's old. It'll be fine for mount for rigging it up for now. Okay, so time for the final fit to the frame because we've got the last mount welded on. Okay, so it's just all set up on the bench here, and these pieces will be welded to this flat bar here that we have cut out, and then this is going to be what the belt's attached to. This is all jigged up and ready to go. A lot of clamps, so we won't be warping anything, and everything should still fit properly around the box when we're done. So that's it for today. Now, other than paint and a little bit of grinding and stuff like that, just to clean it up a little bit, then it's finished. So, so far I'm happy with it. And I think it's gonna be pretty useful. This uh, project, this little wee project that we're working on for the shovel head with this ammo can is, well, we've just been pretty casual about it. I've been pretty casual about it. So this is day whatever. <laughs> But um, my dad's just cutting out the straps now for the buckles and everything and what's going to actually hold the ammo can into the bracket. This is our little hillbilly shop set up. So he's just got his straight edge there and just seat clamped to the bench. And we just so happen to have a straight edge that's the perfect width for it's the perfect width for the straps that we're gonna be wanting to use. Okay, everybody, so it's the final stage of this bracket, finally. And I'm just getting ready to paint it now, so I'm gonna sand this whole thing down. One of my favorite things to do, just kidding. And then I'll paint it, and it'll be ready to go on the bike. So I'm here to show you the end result of this bracket that we were making for the ammo box. I'm going to be putting on my shovel head. Um, and this is how it looks like now with our homemade straps on our home fabricated bracket with these nice brass buckles. These are like Calvary style buckles from um, from Buckle Guy is where I ordered these from. So I'll just show you guys this close. So this is how it looks all close up and finished. It looks really good and it looks even better on the bike. I already did a test fit before we've completely finished the straps and stuff. And um, we put some thin rubber in here too. Anyway, that's how it's looking, and I'm just going to bolt it up onto my 
back of my frame there. Okay, so this is how the bracket's looking all mounted to the bike. And I just wanted to show it to you guys before I put the box on so I can just show you how it's mounted up and how it's fitting on the frame and everything. So it's mounted to the holes that were already in the frame. So we didn't do any modifications to the frame at all. We're using the what would have been like the rear foot peg mounting holes on the back of the frame here and then the bottom holes down there where it's mounted just down here is where some exhausts would have mounted if you were doing like an FL style like the true dual exhaust right so <clears throat> that's how it's looking all mounted up on the bike and it fits really nice and there it is all buckled up looks really good in my opinion and the cool thing about it is you can't even tell that there's a bracket holding this whole thing on and that was one yeah that was definitely like planned that way we didn't want the bracket to be visible once the bucket was on there well guys there you have it so I'm pretty happy with it I'm not sure how many people are gonna be able to actually use the same exact idea on their own bikes because this only fits right here on my bike because my shocks have already been moved back on the swing arm just about three inches this is something I've wanted to do since my bike like from the beginning of my shovel head being on the road and it's just was never a priority because it was just kind of one of those oh that would be cool kind of things that never really needed to be done but now well why not do it now is kind of what I was thinking might as well because I'm not doing anything else on my shovel head this winter it looks like just because of like I've already said my living situation and stuff and just needing a different garage to be able to work in it's got some leaks now that I can't ignore any longer because well I can't ignore them because shovel heads are always a leaky mess but I don't want to because they're making a mess out of me every time I take my bike for a ride so I've always got that signature Harley rider streak of chain oil actually from my transmission that gets onto the chain and then just wrecks all of my shirts and everything else that I wear while I ride my bike. Anyway, there it is guys. I think it looks pretty good. I hope that you guys liked this video and maybe some of you will be able to find this useful if you're riding some custom bike and you want to be able to fit some storage on that's like still kind of discreet. Like if, if this was painted flat black you would hardly notice it and being on the bike how it looks on the bike right now it really looks like it belongs in my opinion anyway this i'll just show you guys how it comes off and then that way you can just see for yourself just how quick and easy this is yeah fits in there nice and snug with the rubber in there so it's not going to be rattling around and making a bunch of noise while i'm on the, on the road and I don't need to leave the bracket on when I'm not using the can. I don't need to leave the can on my bike because it can all goes off and on just really super easily. And it looks really good. When I take my bike apart again, um, I plan on doing some more paint. To, well, I plan on repainting my bike because my, my paint's kind of jacked up right now. But I'm going to powder coat the frame and then I'll also paint this can to match, probably to match the bodywork is what I'm thinking. I'm looking forward to throwing some stuff in there and riding around and maybe even going for a picnic because I'd be able to fit lunch in there too with dessert. It'd be perfect. So anyway guys, I hope you all liked this video. Um, if you didn't find it useful, at least hopefully you found it either entertaining or interesting. And I think that that is it for this one. This video definitely took a long time to film because I was a bit of um, a slouch with, well, it wasn't a pressing thing to get done. So I just took my time and, um, and now it's done and it looks really good. 
and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you for being on my channel. And you know how we say, if you like what you see and all that jazz and everything, then like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos, and hit the little notification bell if you want to be bothered in your notification center every time a new video comes out. <laughs> and like always, my people, I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace. Don't say that. What? <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I've got my new little midget stool, so it's the perfect height. Ooh, it's actually the perfect height for adjusting my push rods on my bike. Check it out though. Perfect. The only thing that's not perfect about it is I could not find the wheels that we wanted to put on, so you got to be careful where you sit on it because you're going to fall over. So don't sit on the edge. But I think it's great. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually really fun. <laughs> so if anyone wants to know how to make a midget stool, I can make a video of that too. <laughs>